Looking for the jeans, I'm dripping. You wanna see and see my whip, yeah. yeah. All I had to do was lift. Gotta get a bitch, I lick. Hold my shot, we lick. Hold that bad little bitch. Hold that bad. What's going on, guys? It's your boy, Lake Crypto, coming back at it again with another daily DGen update. Now, if you guys are brand new to my channel, this is a DGen Yield Farm channel. So, if you guys are brand new to Yield Farming in general, I suggest you guys check out my tutorials, ask a whole bunch of questions around all these community telegrams, and once you guys kind of get a wrap around everything, come on back. Besides all of that, I always go through the BSC farms first, then I hit the Phantom, then I go through the AVAX, and lastly, I hit the Polygon. So if all you guys want to do is check out the Phantom, AVAX, or Polygon farms, feel free to check out the timestamps listed below. All I ask is you guys smash that like button right before you go. But anyways, man, let's get to it. First one up, basically the only one on BSC side still, Palladium Farm. So it finally popped off today, as you guys can see, you know, the price is still trying to find a floor. For me, 100%, bro, I just threw like 50 bucks in here, all right? There's no way that I'm going to throw like... 100 200 300 dollars just to see this you know plummet so up until it actually has a floor like a real floor <laughs> if you guys can see how crazy this looks when the real floor actually happens you start seeing it you know go sideways and then start the uptrend that's when i would suggest that you guys jump in as of right now i really don't care so throwing in 50 bucks don't really hurt me so much but for you guys that's what i always recommend you know always farm on an uptrend right now it's still downtrend it's still dumping so Unless you guys are non-natives, you know, it don't really matter. If you guys are here, go ahead and keep uh, harvesting. You guys could either take that harvest compound or you guys can just sell off so that way you guys can get to your uh, deposit fee. But either way, if you guys are over here on native side, like I said, you're definitely going to want to wait for this price, you know, to catch a floor and then move up. But that's already old news. So anyways, make sure you guys run through that dock, run through the price charts, make sure you guys find a nice little place. And then just remember, there's harvest lockups. All of that's going to be in the dock, so you guys should be all right. Link will be down in the description if you guys want to check it out. And like I said, man, that's basically it for BSC side. So if you guys are kind of looking for other farms, I would suggest you guys check out my bridge video. That way, you know, you guys can see how to bridge to basically all the other chains. It's extremely beginner friendly. That's the whole point of using Elk. So that way you guys get the free gas token when you guys move on over to the other chain. A lot of other bridges, they don't give you the gas token. So you end up stuck and <laughs> basically begging people to give you a little bit of gas fee. So... If you guys are brand new, just check out my bridge video. You guys can check out all the other farms that we got. But anyways, man, let's just move on over to Phantom. So first one up on Phantom. I'm actually going to skip a few real quick. Let's go over Scare. So Scare, as you guys can see, definitely on the uptrend. We check out that price chart. Anyone who jumped in around the 30s or so, you guys are blessed. Anyone who jumped in you know, a lot earlier on the 25s while it was going sideways, you guys are also doing pretty well. As for me, I kind of messed up, to be honest with you. I actually sold off over here on the first dump of 40s, and you know, it is what it is. I didn't think that it was going to last up here at 40s. I honestly thought it was going to drop pretty hard, you know, correct, somewhere around 30, 32, and then from here it was going to farm on. However, it didn't, so <laughs> as of right now, you know, I'm just kind of waiting for another entry. If it looks like it's going to still stay here for a cool minute, what I'll do is I'll just wait for that little floor. I'll wait to, you know, buy around 36 or 37 bucks. Hopefully it drops back down again around here. And, uh, yeah, that'll be my move. So, like I said, man, shout out to everyone who stood in at the 20s and 30s. Anyone who's still farming on the single side, shout out to you guys. It's really not that great. However, if you guys caught that basic 2x easy plus this 5%, you know, you guys are doing pretty good. So, so anyways, just run through the motions like I always tell you guys. Run through the docs, check out the price charts, and then go ahead and make your moves. Link will be down in the description if you guys want to check it out. And on that note... I kind of wanted to go over uh, Squid, and I wanted to go over, you already know, man, Elephant in the Room, Witcher DeFi. So Witcher DeFi, a lot of people kind of thought that the dev was the exact same dev as uh, Squid or as Olive, you know, because basically they all partnered up pretty quick. However, after doing a little bit of sleuthing, the Squid DeFi is different from uh, Witcher. I'm not entirely sure who the dev behind Witcher DeFi actually is. As you guys already know, man, they just bounced and disappeared. But yeah, dude, Squid guys are still around. Olive guys are still around. They're still talking. They haven't said nothing shady or anything that makes me feel like, yeah, they're lying. So I'm going to take them for their word. And um, yeah, I'll just keep them separate. But obviously, you know, I always tell you guys, man, it's the Wild West. Witcher DeFi definitely soft rugged. Even though they wrote that they had that liquidity locked, I told everyone, I was like, dude, that's a lie, bro. Because when you go back to the actual rug dock and you check that little um, 
their little code or whatever, the, the little review, it never said that the liquidity was locked. So kind of really don't know who they locked it with or what that crap was. But like I always tell you guys, man, this is the reason I tell you guys to stick to strong farms. Stop, you know, messing around with these low liquidity farms. But whatever, man, teach their own. Hopefully no one got destroyed and, you know, it is what it is. So anyways, next one up, Squid. Squid's actually doing okay. Obviously, it dumped pretty crazy, so, you know, it is what it is. As of right now, it definitely looks like it's still chilling sideways, so if you got in in threes or under four bucks, you guys are doing pretty chill. If not, yeah, man, it is what it is. Hopefully, you know, creeps back on up towards five bucks. However, if we check out the little APRs and everything, 10% will bring people back. But if people are attaching, you know, squid to the other farms like Witcher, you know, they're going to be kind of afraid to throw their money in here, so... So just in case, you know, you're trying to figure out why it's not really popping off all crazy, but it's still farming chill, that's probably one of the elements. But either way, man, we can't really change that. So just make sure you guys run over here, hit the more, read the docs, check out the price charts, so that way you guys can find an entry, and then go ahead and make your moves. Squid DeFi, the link will be down in the description if you want to check it out. And next one up, Salem. So Salem, man, it's been like, what, three, four, five days? This honestly reminds me of olive so i don't know if you guys remember olive but olive dumped bro for like a week dog it was like the worst shit ever and then after it dumped for a whole week straight it caught itself an uptrend and once it caught that uptrend it was gone dude everyone knows how olive was so 100 percent that is nfa i have no clue if this is actually going to be the point of entry or if this is the uptrend however the buy volume down here and the buy volume right here does look pretty good so I'm a, so I'm most likely going to throw in a bag, maybe start DCAing upwards or DCAing downwards to see how it is. But if the 40 or $30, if this is the range where it's just going to sit sideways for a cool minute, then that's kind of where you guys want to jump in. If we come back over here, check out the farms. You guys can kind of see why I'm talking about them. If we hit this little one day, hit the little 100%, you guys can see we're rocking almost 12% still. So, you know, 12% is pretty fat. Obviously, that's going to carry a lot. So if you guys can find an entry, like I'm trying to tell you guys, man, then that's when you definitely want to jump in. From here, if you guys actually check out the pools, the pools aren't that bad, dude. If you check it out, obviously not going to be that high, but it's still basically doing about like 5%. So to be realistic with you, man, 5% while the token is pumping from the bottom will be pretty, will be pretty big. But obviously, man, that's NFA. We have no clue if this is actually the floor or what's going to happen. So... Hopefully this is the goddamn floor, considering that this thing, you know, basically bottomed out about 4x. So, yeah, man, we'll see what's up. And if this is, awesome, we're going to jump in. If not, it is what it is. So, make sure you guys just run through the motions, hit that docs, hit the price chart. You guys will be all right. Link will be down in the description if you guys want to check it out. And lastly, we got Trick or Treat Farm. So, Trick or Treat Farm just popped off. Um, just got released over there at um, Rug Dog. Of course, you know, I'm total minted, 666, you know, it's trying to be all spooky and all that craziness. All of that is pretty chill, no big deal. However, this is a low liquidity farm, and you already know how I feel about that. So, obviously, you know, that sucks, but it is what it is. For all of you guys who like low liquidity farms, then, you know, you guys can go ahead and come over here and check it out. To be honest with you, dude, low liquidity farms only suck for people like me or for anyone who has, you know, bigger bags. For anyone who has, like, 100 bucks or lower... Low liquidity farms are actually pretty chill because everyone else is going to be buying in. It pumps the price a lot crazier. So you're actually going to be able to, you know, make money or get in gains faster than other people. Plus, since you're still under $100, whatever it is that you decide to sell, that price impact won't be that bad. So you should be okay. For everyone else who has a big ass bag, dude, the price impact is insane. It's like 20%. So... Yeah, man, don't expect whales to jump in here and go crazy, but, you know, like all low liquidity farms, it could pop off. The one good thing about this is if we come over here and we check out their little uh, rug dock review, you guys will see that they actually locked the liquidity with rug dock. So these guys cannot soft rug and, you know, hard rug bounce out. That's basically the only thing. But besides that, who knows how the farm is. So make sure you guys come over here, hit the info, check out the docs like I always try to tell you guys, read anything else you guys want to read, and then make sure you guys check out the price chart. Price chart is extremely important, all right? Especially with the low liquidity farm. So make sure you guys find a nice little entry or something and go ahead and make your moves. Link will be down in the description if you guys want to check it out. 
And that's basically it for Phantom. However, last minute shout out, Polypup, all right? Make sure you guys stick close to that TG. I've been telling you guys a whole bunch of times to stick close to certain TGs right before they make certain announcements. Obviously, this is an NFA channel. I can't give you guys no financial advice. All I can kind of, you know, do is point you guys in the right direction. So when I point you guys in the right direction, you know, that's the way I want you guys to walk. All right. <laughs> Don't get lost out here. But anyways, Polypup will become a Phantom. So stay close to the TG. You guys will know what's up. But yeah, man, that's basically it for Phantom. So give me a second to move on over to AVAX. And we'll pick it back up. All right, guys. So, we're over here on AVAX, first one up, Dragon's Lair. So, keep trying to tell you guys about Dragon's Lair, only for the new Lair 2 that's going to be coming up. So, like I always try to tell you guys, the whole point for picking up this drag is so that way once the mint is already done, you guys can go ahead and take all the drag you guys have and basically get it ready for the swap. So, like I said, the Lair 2 Arum, that's the whole point of this, alright? That's basically it. As you guys can see right here, he's showing, uh, you know, the results of the audits. So, obviously, once he fixes everything... The site will be released and, you know, I'll be able to show it off to you guys. So as soon as that comes around, y'all be the first to know. But anyways, like I always keep telling you guys, make sure you guys check this one out. Like I said, Layer 2 should be fire. The reason why I keep telling you guys to check this one out, the dev behind this farm, he did extremely well on trying to take care of the farm for as long as he possibly could. Super hard, you know, to obviously get pumps in and do all that. But he was straight edge, didn't lie. You know, basically like Polypub Dev. So, I always try to shout out all the good devs. So, obviously, man, just going to shout him out real quick. Sam, shout out to you, homie. You a good guy. Polypub Dev, homie, you a good guy too. Sixes, which is like Ice Slush Dev, you a good guy. So, shout out to all you guys. You guys already know what's up. But, like I said, that's the main reason why we feel like the Layer 2 is going to pop off. Because, obviously, the guy that's behind it isn't going to be a dick and just try to, you know, mooch everyone's money or do scandalous stuff. So... So, that's the main reason why I'm pushing. But anyways, you guys already know what's up. If you guys want to check it out, the link will be down in the description. Just make sure you guys check out the docs. Next one up. Farmers Only Layer 2. So, this one, if you guys can see that price chart, looking pretty crazy, right? So, it's obviously dumping. However, anyone who's able to buy in at the dips and basically, you know, farm and sell off at the top, you guys are still making some clean money, you know? That's still like a 10-15% gain. Obviously, you're not going to be able to farm for days or weeks, but that's just the way it is. Some DGEN farms are only allowed to farm for hours at a time. Others are allowed to farm for days to weeks. So, so make sure you guys take that in your calculations. Don't think that every farm is the same. But I'm pretty sure you guys already know what's up. So anyways, if you guys are in farmers, I hope you guys are either DCAing down or you guys are bouncing out at the top, waiting for that dip, and then jumping back in. If you guys are over here on the farms or the pools... The pool sides are pretty chill, so that's why if you guys are single staking, you know, if you guys are buying at the dip and then single staking, riding it all the way up, you guys are getting that extra 12% or 13% from the price appreciation, as well as getting, eh, we'll say like 1% or something, depending on how many hours this has been in, so obviously 1% ain't crap, but like I said, if you guys can get that price appreciation, that matters a lot more, but you guys already know what's up, so anyways, make sure you guys run through the motions, if you guys want to check it out, you already know what to do. Next one up, Ice Cubes. So Ice Cubes, the other day, I kept stressing a whole bunch of times that you guys should check out the Telegram. I kept saying, you guys should stay close to the Telegram. All the information, stay close to the Telegram. Kept talking about Ice Cubes, Ice Slush. Kept telling you guys, stick close to the Telegram. <laughs> and for everyone who did, you guys got in on the Stealth Launch. Stealth Launch was fucking fire, right? So once again, man, shout out to the homie Sixes, dog. That stealth launch was 100% stealth. I honestly wish that you would have waited for PST times, bro, so I can be up. But, man, it is what it is. I'm pretty sure I can catch the next one. So, anyways, everyone who caught in, you guys got in, like, what, 10 bucks, 20 bucks, 30, 40, 60? I was hearing some crazy numbers, right? And we got some people who have heavy bags of this thing simply because they bought in so early. And, like, they all basically confirmed there was no bots, really. It was mainly just regular people buying in. So, like I said, man, shout out to Sixes. <laughs> you ran a clean-ass launch. And for everyone else who missed out, yeah, man, you guys got to pay attention when I tell you guys to stick close to certain things. But anyways, make sure you guys run down over here, click more, read the docs. Like, you always got to, after that, check out the price chart so you guys can see where it's at. As of right now, you missed the big hit, all right? So, already had this huge rush. And like I said, dude, there's some people who bought in 
so low that the entire time that we were swinging yesterday, it was just money. <clears throat> and on that note, man, my bad for not bringing up the video yesterday, but yeah, I was not going to miss none of this. I was not missing any of every big ass fat red you see, man. Was, I was probably in there selling with everybody. Every single time I hit a dip, I was sitting there buying in, dude. It was it was pretty crazy. At a certain point, somewhere like around here, it really wasn't cost effective to swing. However, like down here, this was insane, dude. Swinging this, that was an easy, almost everything was almost a 2x for every big swing. But it is what it is. So if you guys missed it, you guys missed it. There's going to be another one right here I'm going to talk about. It's going to break your heart. For everyone who's in my TG, we didn't miss nothing, man. Everyone helps each other out. We had a couple call outs. And yeah, man, that's how we jump in on everything. But you guys, man, doc, I hope you guys stuck close to that TG. So, but uh, yeah, man, anyways, ice cubes come from ice slush. So make sure you guys check this one out. The dev is pretty solid. We don't expect them to rug pull or anything. So you guys should be all right. Link will be down in the description if you guys want to check it out. All right, and next one up, why is AVAX? So why is AVAX fucking sucks? <laughs> However, yesterday was insane. Let me hold this up right here so you guys can see that 1100, all right? That was the 26th of October, 2349, all right? In the same day of October 26, the same day, that price was twenty dollars well, like 25 bucks whatever i think it was lower like 16 at a couple points but anyways 25 bucks all right literally from 25 bucks that thing was damn near a 100x for some people all right so for everyone who was kind of didn't understand why i was telling people to you know take their profits from ice cube or take the profits from farmers take their profits from scare and run over here this was why there is no reason that you should be you know holding your ice cube profit for like eight hours just to gain like six percent when you could have three x four x five x whatever it is that you would have jumped in here so yeah man a lot of you guys missed out everyone on rtg we did not miss out trust me when i say dude we were on it however for all you guys yeah dude this was this was pretty insane so don't expect that to happen again but yeah man you guys definitely got to be on it when you can so anyways that whole hurrah is basically over this little farm thing just running just so that way it can do the uh, farm shit with the, I think that tomato or whatever. And that's kind of the only reason why it's super pumped. So anyways, I wouldn't suggest you guys jump in here. The only reason you guys should jump in here is, you know, you guys find a farm that you guys like. Or if you guys had already bought in so low that all of this has just been free farming. Whatever it is, make sure you guys run with it. You guys should be all right. But yeah, that's basically it for Wise AVAC. So like I said, I wouldn't recommend you guys jump in here. But anyways, next one up. Just wanted to cover real quick, seed farm. So a whole bunch of you guys kept asking about seed farm, and I'm not going to cover it. And the reason why is any token that has a 7% transfer tag, bro, is retarded to try to farm. That's 7% when you buy it, 7% when you sell. So that is 14% that you have to basically cover immediately. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I definitely don't like farming in debt. Like, as soon as I buy all the tokens, if I'm already 15% in debt, dude, that's fucking terrible, all right? I'd rather be, like, you know, 1%, 2% in debt, basically, because of, the uh, you know, paying the fees, yada, yada. This 14%, 15% is retarded, but whatever, man. Some of you guys like it, cool. Awesome for you guys. For me, I'm good on that. And for all of you guys, I would suggest you guys pass. 7% is just way too high. If this was maybe, like, 3%, yeah, it's not that bad, dude. A 6%, you know, buy and sell... Uh, yeah, it's crazy, dude. But yeah, man. <clears throat> but um, yeah, you guys already know my stance. So, anyways, that seed farm. If you guys want to check it out, go ahead and look for it yourself. It's gonna be in the rug dock for me and for you know my TG and for our guys. I would suggest you guys pass, unless you guys just want to burn money. So, anyways, man, that's basically it for Avax. Last minute shoutouts, like I said, Dreg definitely jump in here. Once the emissions are done, which is basically like in a well, like 120 or something like that. This price is probably going to pump pretty crazy because no one, and I'm telling you, no one is going to sell off until that swap starts getting closer. Everyone's going to expect that the price is going to pump prior to swap. So even if there's people who don't want to swap, they're still going to hold because they're greedy. You know, they want to wait to see how many people actually buy in so that it goes up right before swap and then they sell. So just expect that, all right? But you guys already know what's up. Besides that one, you guys also have that Farmers. I would honestly suggest, you know, you guys check out Ice Cube over Farmers, but teach their own. 
besides that one, like I said, you guys have ice cubes. Definitely want to check this one out. As soon as it pops off, it should be pretty crazy. So make sure you guys stick close to the TG so you guys know what's going on. However, the vaults are already open. So if you guys want to go ahead and hit the little vault and come down over here, you guys can go ahead and earn spell for either dropping off your guys' ice cube or for dropping off your guys' slush. So whatever it is you guys want to do, go ahead and make those moves. But yeah, man, that's basically it for the AVAC side. Like I said, I would stay away from Wise and Seed, I would stay away from. So, so just give me a second to move on over to Polly and I'll pick it back up. All right, guys. So we're over here on Poly. First one up, Poly Unity. So Poly Unity actually looks like it's finally bottomed out. Definitely looks like it's catching a floor. Where that floor is, we really don't know yet. Could be 100, could be 90, could be 80. But a lot of people feel comfortable around here. As for me, like I always said, I like the uptrends. So right here at this point, look clean. Once it kind of dropped down over here, I decided to sell off. I didn't know, honestly, if what was going to happen from my little TA. Once it broke my little TA around right here, I decided to sell off around 2.6. I think it was a little bit before. I think it was like 2.18 or something like that. I decided to sell off. So, you know, it is what it is. I was able to sell off my harvest and sell off my little uh, single stake. And I made some nice profit. As of right now, you know, it dropped back down. And it looks like it could possibly catch an uptrend again. And if it can continue to, you know, keep bouncing down, catching up trend, drop to the bottom, catching up trend, then, you know, I would suggest that you guys just try to look for what the common floor is, which seems to be, uh, if we take both of these, looks to be like around one, 110 to about like 100. So if you guys hit this bottom, I would say it's semi safe to go ahead and buy in if you believe that it's going to continue the uptrend. Obviously, this is crypto, dude. It can go up a bit and then immediately tank harder. Whales kind of control that, so just make sure you guys pay attention. But, anyways, that's Poly Unity. Make sure you guys run over here, check out the more, read the docs, and then check out the price chart. The pools and the farms still are pretty chill, so like I said, I expect people, you know, to definitely still want to jump in. However, you never know what's going to happen when the price pumps or whether it dumps. Like I said, whales control everything. As of right now, it still looks pretty chill, so maybe uh, with some announcements or something, you know, we'll probably see a price pump. Maybe hopefully a 2x, probably uh, towards the end of the week, if they announce, you know, like partnerships with Beefy or other pools, whatever. You guys already know what's up, so just keep an eye out on all that, and you guys will be all right. Make sure you guys run through the motions, and then after that, you know, find a little farm or pool you guys like, and go ahead and jump in. Poly Unity, the link will be down in the description if you guys want to check it out. Next one up. Gyoza. So Gyoza actually popped off and it actually popped off a little too quickly. So I told people, you know, to get ready for the sell off because any single time a farm actually pops off super quick, it's going to dump. And that's basically what happened. So everyone who was here basically went from about like 650, I mean, uh, three something from three something just flew on up to uh, five, almost six bucks. From there, it dropped down again, flew on up for a nice little baby swing. I think like a 20% swing. And then from there has just been dumping. So like I'm always trying to tell you guys, every single time you see these flat, you know, these super quick, you know, spikes, just understand it's gonna dump again. That's just what always happens, all right? So, you know, don't get uh, don't get worried about stuff like that or, you know, don't get confused. That's what always happens. Every single time there's a fat spike, people are gonna want to take profits. Anyone who is farming down here, I mean, why wouldn't you want to take profits? It's basically almost 2x, so... Yeah, man, that's basically normal. So anyone who's in here, just pay attention to that. That's why I always tell you it's extremely important to buy the dips. Do not buy the highs, buy the dips. But you guys already know what's up. So make sure you guys run over here, hit the more, read the docs so you guys know what's going on. And then just stick close to that price chart. Obviously, it's going to go up, it's going to go down. But like I said, as long as you're buying the dips and then selling off your harvest at the highs, you should be all right. As of right now, as you guys can see it drop down. If I was you, I would wait. I would wait until... You see it kind of level out once it goes sideways and starts kind of going up again. Then go ahead and decide to make your moves. But anyways, man, that's NFA. So if you guys want to check this one out, link will be down in the description. All right. So next one up, Polygamma. Polygamma definitely dropped from yesterday's uh, 50 bucks where it was at. And it has a nice little steady drop. We still got 14 hours till the you know farm actually pops off. But man, if you guys check out that price chart, dude, Jesus Christ, is it sideways as hell. <laughs> so anyone who was uh, over here trying to, you know, swing from 52s to the 40s, yeah, man, good luck. Obviously, that is a nice little 20% gain, 25% gain. But yeah, those swings are a little crazy. So just pay attention uh, if you guys are deciding to do that. Every single time it hits, you know, close to the 50s or so, people are selling off. 
But um, yeah, man, besides that, we cruise it on back again. Whenever it's sideways like this, that's usually a less of a temperament for it to completely crash when the farm starts. So a lot of us are actually betting on this bad boy to actually climb on up on farm start, depending on how these APRs really look. If the APRs look super fat, then yeah, dude, you know people are going to ape in. If the APRs look, you know, pretty lackluster, too low, or if these non-natives or these other layers look a lot higher, trust me when I say, man, someone would rather jump into one of these older layers and then farm this one up almost for free. So just pay attention to all that and you guys will be all right. But anyways, you guys just got to run down over here, read the docs, check out the price chart. If you guys want to go with the old layers, you guys have, uh, I think, alpha and beta. That's the only ones that they're allowing you guys to farm through from the old layers. And then, um, like I said, just check out the price charts on either of those and go ahead and make some moves. But, yeah, you guys already know what's up. It's always basic routine. So, if you guys want to check out Polygamma, the link will be down in the description. Just go ahead and figure some stuff out and make some plays. And that's basically going to be it for Polygon. So, like I said, man, last minute shout outs. Polyunity, make sure you definitely check it out. Try to find a entry. If you see it on a downtrend or you see it dumping, wait. I tell you guys to wait all the time. You guys are just so impatient. <laughs> Just wait, all right? Find a nice entry. Besides Polyunity, Gyoza, check it out. If the thing keeps dumping, stay away from it. If it stops dumping and finds another entry, and finds, you know, a nice little dip and it starts going on uptrend again, back towards six bucks, then go ahead and jump in. I would suggest that if it is pumping, you stick in the single stake. You guys already know what's up. And then, like I said, besides that one, you guys got Polygamma, so just make sure you guys pay attention to when the farm launches. You guys will be all right. And that's basically it. So you already know, man, that's been my time. If you guys like my content, like always, smash that like button for me. If you guys have any questions or comments, like always, man, put them down below. You guys can see, man, I answer everybody. If for some reason I can't answer that question because, you know, I'm not awake or something, check out the community telegram. I'm telling you, man, these guys are DJ monsters. They know everything I know. They know all my moves. They already got used to the whole style and structure. These guys are from all around the world, which means they're up 24-7. So no matter what question you guys have, trust me when I say, man, Someone's going to be able to help you. But besides all that, if this is like the third, fifth, or like 10th video of mine, yo, that you watch, and you still ain't hit that subscribe yet, yo. Hey, bro, come on now, dawg. <laughs> all right, homies. Y'all stay up, all right? Peace. <laughs>